forever. Dog. Rise and shine, wolf pack. Today's activities include a vaguely threatening song from a robotic owl, a hike down the trail of dark money that funds oat milk, and a refreshing swim with a fake child corpse. Justin McElroy takes us to parent maddening water park and hotel chain Great Wolf Lodge on podcast The Ride. Welcome to Podcast The Ride, a podcast about theme parks hosted by three guys who love nature, the roof, the slides, and especially the chlorine <laughs> stench. I'm Scott Gardner, uh, joined by fellow nature lover Jason Sheridan. I prefer to uh, consume my nature via skylight. <laughs> it's an, it's yeah, it's nice. Oh. You get just a little bit, but there's yeah. a little bit of of barrier instead of that raw nature that might uh, fuck you up, give you a heat stroke or something. Uh, Mike Carlson, hi. Hi, yes, I love nature. Have I told the story on the podcast before about getting chased out of like Joshua Tree by like goats? <laughs> like I tried to be go into nature, no, and thirty goats like surrounded me. And then my friend and I drove away from there to a different part of the park. And then we went up a hill and it said, watch out for the thirsty bees. <laughs> thirsty? The, the bees are so dehydrated that they will just go into your car because they sense there's water in there. So beware of the, so it was like, beware of the thirsty bees. And like, I was just getting like, nature was just telling me it doesn't want me. It does not want me out here today. Go back to your artificial nature. And I have gone back to it ever since. Yeah. Okay. Well, a couple of things. Not. Yeah. Not thirsty, as in horny. No, the bees nope. were not horny. Nobody no. got no. humped by a butt. They weren't like so flower depraved. No, I don't. I don't think they were horny. But I think they were normal of a normal uh, level of horniness for bees. They were thirsty, as in literally dehydrated. They had no water. Okay. Yeah. Mm, you didn't have the chance dry. to get attacked. In which case, it might have been like we're getting stung. No, wait. It's something else. <laughs> <laughs> the bees weren't like kind of like waiting for me, like like kind of like at the end of the bar or anything. It was nothing like that, <laughs> like in an old cartoon or something. Like Bugs Bunny. Wink. They they all had eyelashes. All of a sudden, those bees have yeah. eyelashes. You could hear the sound of their eyelashes bat. There was like a, a thousand of them, and they could all in unison were batting their tink, tink, bee tink. eyelashes at me at once. <laughs> that did not happen. That's not what happened. Uh, okay. Well, lesson learned on your part. Uh, don't go again. It's the, we're talking about real nature and the kind of yeah. real nature that you can find at a chain called Great Wolf Lodge. It is a chain of indoor water parks slash hotels slash there's arcades and restaurants. They're mini theme parks, uh, are what they are. And this topic comes to us, uh, courtesy of somebody who has been, because I don't think the three of us have been, correct? No, I've only sadly. walked around a lobby. Uh, no, I think I would get like hit with a sap immediately if I if I walked in. <laughs> hit with a sap, like a sap or a nightstick or something, and it's like, oh, that weirdo's here alone. <laughs> that weirdo's here with another adult weirdo and no one else. <laughs> It's pretty specifically family oriented. I think our guest went with his family, but I who knows? It might have been a solo expedition. We will find out all the details. And he just so happens to be a prolific podcaster from My Brother, My Brother and Me, Adventure Zone, and Sawbones. It's Justin McElroy. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. Hello. What a pleasure. Hello. 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 Thanks for having me. Oh, what absolutely. A to, here to talk about Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, thank you for bringing this to the table. Uh, it's yeah. one of those that I've sensed people are excited about. I think a lot of people on our social media are excited to talk about I've been wanting us to talk about it but you know what do we know we've never again I walked around a lobby for 20 minutes I'll bring some of that to the table but you've <laughs> put in the work you've really done it and you uh, I'm already excited by just the observations that were DM'd uh, yeah, so I tell us a lot more. of human hours at the at the Great Wolf Lodge a lot of time at Great Wolf Lodge wow a wow lot. multiple <laughs> trips or, or oh one. multiple trips yes yeah, really so, okay <clears throat> a little context is probably 
a little context is probably helpful here. <laughs> sure. uh, the Great Wolf Lodge that we started going to was um, it's it's right next to uh, Kings Island in Cincinnati. Oh, so, yes. You, it's like all, almost right by like bordering the parking lot, it seems like. It, it is. I mean, you can walk. Um, it's not uncommon to have people like walk over there from the park. There's a walking path. It's a hall. Wow. But, like there is a walking path from Great Wolf Lodge to Kings Island. So the two work in terrible synchronicity, right? So if you can't go to one, you can't take your kids to a hotel, even if it is a water park themed hotel, and see like coasters in the background. And be like, don't look at that. You're we're not going there. <laughs> don't look. <laughs> don't look. And at the same time, they 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 you know we go to Kings Island. Look right next door. It's the Great Wolf Lodge. Well, certainly, you got to stay at Great Wolf Lodge if you're going. There used to be a hotel across the street from there called coasters was the was the restaurant and then it was the king's island resort as seen in the brady bunch episode if you is the hotel about. in the, oh, the brady bunch right. episode is that where they stay yeah they stay in the king's island uh hotel that's all that's wow. all leveled now so your your options are like stay at a, a chain nearby or go to great wolf lodge next door to king's island wow. part of the you know cedar fair uh family Right, right. Mm -hmm. Which the that's we've, so that's we've we talked about starting. that. That park's great. So that's a trip you've done a couple. Of, is is the in tandem? And you grew when up with you, Kings Island, is that correct? Uh, for or? sure, yeah. Like yeah. Where, where I live in Huntington, West Virginia, we have. So we do have a theme park. It's called Camden Park, um, and that would be even more specific than Great Wolf Lodges. Like no one's been to Camden Park, but if you if you look up videos someday, it's a real classic. There's a lot of. There's an extremely old roller coaster called the Big Dipper that uh, mm -hmm. uh, there's a really, really unnerving log flume. Um, there's a, a haunted house <laughs> that is like something from another dimension. The whole place is wild. Is it uh, unnerving because of like anything spooky or unsettling along the way? Or is it just it might the fall gum apart? The gum wall is a big part of the unnerving part. That's like some 60s gum. There's only beach nut in there. Like I don't. I don't fool around with the gum wall at the haunted house. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that place is a trip. But if you want to go to an actual theme park that is that is more than like an hour of dodging hepatitis, like you go to Kings Island, which is it's slightly less hepatitis infused than Camden <laughs> Park is. But yeah, we went to Kings Island. Like that was the like if you're in band or choir or whatever, like that was the trip that you took. Oh sure, uh, at sure. At the end of the year, so I spent a lot of time there. Preferred it when it, was, when it was owned by Paramount. There's a lot of theming. The Mirthmobile was there for a while from Wayne's World, which is oh, a big deal yeah. for, sure. for me. Oh, um, that's great. I remember all the, like, the there was a Top Gun thing. There was Days of Thunder. There was yeah. Italian Job when I yeah. got when I got to go. And then they had drop, to strip drop it all. Drop Zone, and... that beloved Paramount property, Drop Zone. Uh, was that, after, is that a movie? It Yeah, it was Wesley Snipes about falling out of planes, I think. Whoa. Um but uh, they they rethemed all those uh, and stripped out all the like movie theming. So like Top Gun becomes like Hang Pilot. I don't know the new names. Flight Ever since they closed deck. the vortex over there, I'm I'm heartbroken. Exciting plane. Yeah, <laughs> thrilling, <laughs> Fast thrilling undercarriage. Um, <laughs> but Great Wolf Lodge is a is relatively newer in that area, right? So that wasn't there when I was a kid. That was like um, it predates my kids though. Uh, about, I think it's been there about 12 years, that particular location. The chain is from the the mid to late 90s, and I think that's it start in the Wisconsin Dells, if you guys have, have ever been in that neck of the woods. Mike um, has, right? I have, yeah, a few times. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so there's there's 20 of them now, 20 Great Wolf Lodges um, that, okay, so here's the pitch. It is a massive, massive resort, um, and the, I mean, uh, huge, huge, really, really big. <laughs> and then in the connected to Evergreen Wolf Lodge, like in the center of Evergreen Wolf Lodge is an indoor water park where like wave pool, lazy river, uh, a bunch of different slides, raft rides, um, you know, some other like obstacle courses and, and things like that. Uh, you got that big the the bucket that slowly fills up there's and then pours down the God. roof. That classic the bucket, the classic. The there's this giant bucket that just dumps at whenever it feels like it. <laughs> so if you want to try to get through the park to to someplace else, you're not going to stay dry because it just dumps a huge bucket of water on. <laughs> um, just keep your eyes on the bucket. There's a restaurant. There's a restaurant in there called Buckets. Which is a delight. It's a restaurant is generous. Uh, there's a place where you can stand in shirtless 
for 20 minutes and get some hummus or chicken tenders out of the deal. Uh, I, I, now, it. I want to, uh, Buckets is correct, but I want to give uh, credit to the, the full name, Buckets Incredible Cravables. <laughs> Make sure we get that jargon out. <laughs> yes, Buckets Incredible <laughs> It's good. It, you can conceptualize it. I have not been to one of these kinds of things, but it, I think it's like, like a sandals for kids. You know what I mean? Like an all-inclusive, <laughs> like kids show up, you don't have to leave. So that's like the the main thing. If you're in the room, then if you're staying in a room there, you get a band for the water park. You get to go to the water park, which is like Great Wolf Lodge was the place when COVID really got started where it's like, we'll know COVID is over when Great Wolf Lodge opens. Because if you can imagine a worse environment for like spreading <laughs> oh, disease than just oh. like, so we maintain it to make it the most the most comfortable for all bacteria and viruses. Um. <laughs> well, and, and all of the like w w the sense that I get of it, and from my brief walk around and watching videos, they're they're like it, they just feel like a bit of a claustrophobia. This is the water park, which is a breeding ground, but then all the hallways where you go on these adventures and stuff, which we'll talk about. But like those are all just hotel hallway this is not hotel some hallways, it's not grand right. californian sized like expansive lobbies and it kind of is just like a, a, a radisson that has some like yes. fake nature in it there's nature there's a there is a um gosh it's it, what order to talk about these okay so there's the water park there's the rooms um they have uh uh there's a arcade huge arcade that is open 24 hours a day so <laughs> if your kids Whoa. wake up uh, at 6 a.m., you can go down, like, come on, let mom sleep. Yeah, 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 we'll go down and play the Minions VR ride. <laughs> Fine. Um, so I've nice. spent a lot of mornings, like, there's a Duncan inside oh, uh, no. where you can get, uh, just, if you like your, if you like your uh, hash brown soapy, there's no better option than Duncan, <laughs> Duncan Donuts. Uh, there's also, like, a big, um, they have a big buffet kind of thing, and then there's, like, the... Uh, they call it, which is why there's an upscale upscale. There's an adult sit down dining place that they puzzlingly called the lodge. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like, well, it's just <laughs> sounds like the sequel to Great Wolf Lodge and it's your restaurant. Very um, difficult to Google just that restaurant. Great yes, Wolf Lodge, the lodge. <laughs> the I was lodge. like, the I lodge think does I just seem like the high to... end, like the hip way. Like we're just going to the, the lodge. It's like the high end, you know, the high end version or whatever. They've got a lot of, uh, there's crafts and all kinds of activities for kids. They got yoga if you want yoga. Um, the weirder stuff is like they have this thing called Magic Quest, which started as like a comparable to like a laser tag or like Qzar where you would like go there to do Magic Quest. And Magic Quest is you have a toy wand and of course they're like all very customizable with lots of flair you can you can buy for them but you have these wands and they have ir uh receivers in the tip and when you point them at things in this game you can do like quests and collect gold and interact with things in the hotel there's things in the hotel where if you flick your wand at them like the bear will talk to you or the you know the the knight in armor will like light up or something like that so there but there's also like you go to these trees that have TV screens on them. And you see a man who like, he's so old, he's like playing a wizard giving you quests. And it's a video of this dude. And it's like, he's so old and the stuff there is so old. Like you're just faced with this certainty that this man is dead. Like you look at it, you know, like without <laughs> any doubt, like there's no way this man is still alive. There's no way. <laughs> and he's giving you quests from beyond the grave to like go get the lightning rune or whatever. And then you have to find other uh, community theater actors pretending to be princesses or, or fairies <laughs> that will give you other quests and like you collect the runes and you collect gold. There's a channel on the TV that tells you who's got the most gold and quests. Oh! Wow. <laughs> How exciting for the that kids rules. to make it to the TV. Really? Well, it's thrilling except for there's a certain class of kid that you run into at Great Wolf Lodge that you're pretty sure isn't staying there but is on his grind. Like usually capes are involved. If you see a kid with like, uh, every time I go, there's at least one kid with like a cape and a wand holster who you can tell is like mom dropped off at 10 a.m. She's like, I'll be back at three. Have a, have a killer time. <laughs> if you knew <laughs> this kid, you'd do it too. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, and those are all that. So that's weird because it goes through the whole hotel. So if you're walking like from your room to the lobby, like you are walking through some kids like adventure playground, where it's just like these little dorks running around careening <laughs> into you, no awareness of where you are because they've got like a red gym to get to before the time runs out or whatever. So that's playing out around you. Which that like so that is mixing with like the family hauling in the suitcases and like come on let's go we gotta get to the desk no don't stop there and then some kid might like <laughs> crash into you and poke your kid with a wand yeah, yeah I exactly. saw a video of like tips and tricks for magic magic quest I also heard it called magi quest I think it yeah. might be even though yeah the spelling seems like but then there are magis involved so yeah, right yeah. yeah magis are a part of it. But but some of the tips and tricks are like take the stairs. There's hidden stuff in the stairway, but there's also like fire escape warnings in the stairway. Like Don't, it's a regular stairway, stairway. <laughs> <laughs> not not those stairway. And like I saw like the, the, they were recording this video, and a, a guy is just walking behind them shirtless because he's just like, look, I'm just trying to get back to my room and to get, to get some stuff. But then the the other detail was like. You go through the whole resort. However, it's it's by the elevators. Uh, the 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 stuff on all the floors is by the elevators. If you hit guest rooms, you have gone too far. Stop right. walking through guest right. rooms. Right. Uh, and there's they're on miserably, cruelly. They're on different floors. The different things you have to do. So you are like up and down stairs like trying to get to uh uh the different quest objectives so that's a very wild the the weirder thing about it is all the magic quests or magic quests if you like that were outside of great wolf lodge have been shuttered so this these used to be standalone things they don't exist anymore the company itself that ran magic quest was like subsumed into the great wolf lodge corporation so this technology no one seems to know how to fix it or maintain. It is in no way maintained or fixed. And I think that's like institutional knowledge that no one has anymore. Like once the treasure chest stops opening, no one <laughs> seems to know. Like, well, what we that guy's gone. That guy's They're long gone. He's, he's, you know, he, he's working for another park now. He's gone. We don't know how to fix anything. There was um, one guy who knew how to do it. Right. The one guy I built is like, well, as long as this keeps working forever, it should be fine. <laughs> he, uh, he got fired. Yeah, the magis in the sky have decided that the chest will never open again. Your work here is done. The, uh, there's an adult. There's like a, a more, not adult, but there's like a more grown up version of Magic Quest called Compass Quest, where you get, imagine the thrill of casting spells with your wand. Now imagine instead of a wand, you have an incredible compass. That you can put into divots if you want. Boy, the thrill, the 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 sheer <laughs> joy in your child's eye when they take a toy compass and put it into a compass shaped divot. Boy, let me tell you, it is a it is a wild and woolly experience. And then, I have a I have a feeling Jason was into compasses as a kid. I could be wrong. I uh, liked fiddling with my Boy Scout compass, and I. Uh, never <laughs> fiddling with my compass. <laughs> yeah, never used it. Uh, well, Jason fiddled with his compass. <laughs> I just I like turning it and like trying to get it to find north. But then when they're like, "All right, we'll align the compass and now find your bearing and now write, figure out where in the sky." And I'm like, "No, this is no. We're not. I'm not doing school too. I, I already have to go to school. It's the weekend." <laughs> It's the weekend. That's why it's friends who would go to catechism would go to CCD. I was like, you have to go to school after school? Like, I... I school, oh, too. school, too. You would have liked it better if you were putting it into things and magic, like, thing quests were unlocked. It's, yeah, like magic. That. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, sorry. There's a... No, please. Uh, uh, there's a, um, a show, an animatronic show that plays twice a night at the mm -hmm. same time. So in the lobby, there's like this big, uh, it's like a, tr looks like a tree and the tree has a face and then there's different forest animals and a kid in the log and they just look at you with these like dead lifeless eyes for 22 hours and 30 minutes out of every day. And then for, for a brief 15 minute window, they are brought to life to, <laughs> to uh, delight parents at literal, like the loudest uh, ear splitting ear splitting volumes <laughs> what makes it what makes it worse is 
the show is maybe 10 feet from the check-in desk where the employees <laughs> all are. So imagine twice a night, every night, you are <laughs> you have to sit five feet from this ear splitting. I actually I downloaded the sa- the the song for you all. Oh yeah, right. the show Thank out you, yes. just so I could play a little snippet of it. Yeah, but I think we aren't getting oh, that. I can't hear it. Yeah. Okay, hold on one sec. Sure. I think I have the video maybe too. If you if that's yeah, if what you we're... can if you have it. I think I might have it here. Wait here. Well, you can tell us if it's the right thing. Um, Jordan, can we pull up a video? I think we might have a video here. Here, let's pause it. We might let's keep. We might want to keep going, but uh, just after, at this juncture, uh, who's like you got to really squint to see that it is the owl, uh, the owl? because the motion yeah. is not like a, a ton, right? And, and right. the context clues are telling you he sounds like an owl. I think when he sings, he's got an owl vibe for sure. It's yeah, owlish singing but voice. A, um, but is, this is yeah. the one you were talking about. There? This is yeah, the earworm. Yeah, this is every night twice. Like. There's one at seven and one at eight, um, and uh, it the, the kids just sit down in, outside and they watch this great show, and the staff is just subjected to it over and over and over again. <laughs> um, there's other weirder. There's a a place called Scoops, which is like uh, is I think Scoops is the. It's a kid's uh, spa. I had a picture a from spa. when I walked yes, around. Yes, thank you. There's an ice cream store too, which isn't called Scoops. Which is <laughs> not Scoops. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't not it scoops. be Scoops? It's, it's, <laughs> scoops is where you get like fake nail polish on right. if you're a little girl. It's. I found something that was like paint the nails of this raccoon character and then print them yeah. out. And you can <laughs> get your own nails painted and the to... hook is like everything's edible. So if your kid wants to just like drink the nail polish, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! Yeah. They're gonna be the options good. there. Uh, all they've eaten for days is like uh, buckets and uh, edible nail polish. And I saw there were uh, the brunch buffet had a big cupcake display at the end. Yeah. So it's like yeah. all my kid is eating is honeydew melon and blue cupcakes <laughs> and edible nail polish and going in the water. <laughs> there are there's also a huge candy shop. Don't forget the the massive candy store. Oh and your kids God. when you when you uh book your room, you get for your kids what's called a paw pass and it's like a this really does bump it into like sandals territory because then it's like if you get the best paw pass, then you get like the a uh, a cup full of bulk candy and you get ears and you get uh may, maybe like um uh, uh, goggles, stuff like that, or you can play a free game of laser tag or a free game of uh, uh, light up goofy golf. That's there. I didn't mention that. There's golf. There's bowling alley. Uh, but but that's all packed in, right? Which becomes a mm-hmm. checklist where you, as a parent, now even if you didn't want to do all these things, I mean, you've already paid for them, so you are going to have to go, you know, play the bowl, bowl and golf and all those other great activities, mm-hmm. which, which are sort of like. It jammed into I, I found a picture I took of the bowling alley 10 paws I believe yeah, 10 paws yes <laughs> 10 paws <laughs> bowling and it like that's small it's like in a corner I I, I, yeah. I mean I couldn't believe how much was packed into what was weird is the Anaheim one or, or the Garden Grove one if you will uh I just remember thinking like Boy, everything is like it, it's all in corners, and there seems to be this game, and that's all in hallways, and it just all felt. And there's yeah. five restaurants somehow in that, and yet the Garden Grove one, the biggest one in the in the entire chain, and yet it felt like claustrophobic to me. Yeah, they're very they're very packed. Well, that kind of goes it, 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 what, to what I think is like so awesome about the Great Wolf Lodge experience, and I am using that somewhat sarcastically because as as much as there is for kids to do, it is openly hostile to parents <laughs> in a way <laughs> in a way where no concessions have been made for your existence like no concessions there used to be something called the wind down <laughs> w-i-n-e wind down and what you do is when you check in you order a wind down 
And that is literally at 9 p.m. or whatever you set the time. But after your kids are in bed, someone shows up and knocks very quietly on your door <laughs> and says, here's an entire bottle. <laughs> and, and and some truffles here you go enjoy and you, um, we make you make you wait until after your kids are asleep to have anything approximating pleasure but there you go. <laughs> that it also, has been... oh. enjoy the cupcake chardonnay you could have picked up at target next door <laughs> for less <laughs> money yes for i was googling less. prices at total <laughs> wine <laughs> drastically less than the wine down but maybe you get your chocolate covered strawberries which i'm sure yeah, are uh, absolutely justify the oh expense. yeah you have there's at least four of them and it's, <laughs> it's each one more delicious than the last uh, that the service has been discontinued <laughs> so, <laughs> once you're in the room you are in the room there is nothing for you like you what you're you are there once your kids are asleep you are not leaving this room you are stuck there <laughs> i've started yeah. to get into this regard not in great wolf lot now i've done a couple of disney trips with my now 2 year old and we we essentially invented the wind down program for ourselves without realizing right. this was <laughs> established but you bring the bottle we've actually had a lot of fun in the realm of like uh okay let's check if the baby monitor works at the downstairs bar no it stops working as <laughs> no. soon as we get down the elevator chef i guess we're in the room tonight just uh, leave the shark tank it running is next to the bed yeah <laughs> we try um, but we've had a, you know hey our our independent wind downs have been actually very nice i would say but these the, what my question in reading the wind down section of the website um here's okay one there's different packages and one is called right rekindle the bonfire and i'm <laughs> yeah. i'm a little uncomfortable with the oh and then they call it a romantic package and i i'm just going to take a stab here based on what we've talked about so far it's i can't imagine that great wolf lodge is a great place for romance oh <laughs> for well, you, parental you've romance the, you've come to the right man to ask about romance at great wolf lodge <laughs> let me tell you there is nothing you feel like less. There is nothing, especially if you spent the day at King's Island, right? You come back drenched, drenched in sweat. Your kids, your rotten children make you go to the water park after all that. You fill up on a bunch of cotton candy and and uh, the worst pizza I've ever had in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> unthinkable, unthinkable, this pizza. You cannot imagine how bad the pizza at Great Wolf Lodge is. It seems like a joke. It seems like they're 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 running a scam on you. They can't even get like La Rosa's pizza, like a local Cincinnati pizza. No, it's, it's absolutely the worst. And oh my God. there is the, uh, in terms of like, if you want alcohol, I get the wine down is gone, right? But they do know that that you are basically trapped there, uh, and so you can buy cans of White Claw for seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Vegas. <laughs> it's, so, it's it's just so antagonistic that like you can't order things. There's not like adult movie, not adult movies, but you know like <laughs> yeah, you know R -rated, a, PG thirteen movies. Yes, yeah, right. Anything above that, um, it is. Uh, there is no, like the restaurant the lodge is wildly unpredictable it's the food quality is always like about a hard c it's like <laughs> a good solid c the one i went to one in charlotte on our way back from a, a beach trip where we had to stop like halfway and as a treat to the kids and a punishment to ourselves for being so relaxed at the beach we stopped at great wolf lodge on the way home <laughs> um and the rest the lodge there is overlooking the uh the water park so imagine the one thing that is ostensibly an adult experience at this place and your kids are watching other kids have fun through the glass. Like, how <laughs> how is your dinner going when your kids are like, Mom, let's go. Let's go. Look, they're having fun. We're missing it. <laughs> Why are we um, sitting here? Why just are we isn't anything. <laughs> Son, These listen. These meatballs are subpar at best. I love you. I just want to finish this bad burger with a fried egg on it. It's the only thing I have had to That's look exactly, forward to that is all exact, day. I'm just pretending. I want to just pretend I'm somewhere else for a second. <laughs> I it um uh th that's like the, the what I weirdly kind of enjoy about it though. Aside from they have the arcade machines where you all run into these where you are putting coins in the slot and you get trading cards out of them and if you get a full set of the trading cards then you can trade them in for like a bajillion tickets right oh. so there's a spongebob game whereas you're pumping quarters in 
it will make like these different character cards fall down the slot. And if you get all nine of them, then you trade them for like 5,000 tickets, but wow. you can't find a Gary. <laughs> That's how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gary. So, it's so like, you're walking, yeah, you're it's walking like past a McDonald's the game. It's like the McDonald's game with the exactly. one street that you can't find. Uh, exactly. So every yeah. time you walk past the machine, it's like, let me just duck in and see if they got a Gary out real quick. Nope. See no Gary. Okay, mm. moving on. Those are, those are uh, uh, fun. But what I actually like about it is like, I feel no, you know, when I'm at Disney, I, 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 I love Disney uh, a lot. I'm wearing a, a Disney shirt as, as we speak. I'm a huge fan of Disney. But when I'm at Disney, there's this sense of like, if I just do the right things and like plan enough and, you know, read enough and watch enough uh, Disney videos and stuff, that, then I can really maximize this trip and really get something that the whole family is going to love. And with Great Wolf Lodge, you just got to get through it. And the the lack of pressure there, I really love. Like, eh, I don't know. I don't care what we do. I'm just alive for 24 hours, and then I'll leave, and it'll be over. It's not miserable. There's nothing for me here. This isn't for mm -hmm. me. I'd, and they oh, seem to, like, really yes. cultivate that experience of, like, there's no FOMO here. There's nothing you'd like, adults. <laughs> trust us. It's just, if you're a Disney sit. World, you're like, can I maneuver this to where, oh, I get a break from the kids and I get to go do Tower of Terror and that's exciting. Or if we plan it right, there's actually a really good restaurant in our hotel and the wine is yeah, nice yeah, and the yeah, food yeah, is yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. You, like, but if you take all that off the table, <laughs> like, Disney it's is not like, for yeah, you. D Disney Disney World especially is like a monster that you have to like slay, you have to plan for it, you have to kill it. And the Great Wolf Lodge, it's like monster, do what you want to me. <laughs> Just take me. I'm I'm here. Yeah. You win. I'm before I walk I, out the door. I, win, I surrender myself to the Baba Duke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to, this to, place answer is. Your, um, to answer your romance question, oh yeah, you should you should actually um, take a look at some of the themed rooms because the suites at Great Wolf Lodge, you can put your kids in. You guys cuss on this show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah, I know that. I think we did. You, know, top, uh, you can yeah. put your kids in fucking Albuquerque. There's like a, 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 a bunk bed room where they are sequestered off in their own themed bunk beds. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't oh. know if they lock from the outside, but I assume. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, though, I watched a walkthrough of a two story fireplace suite. Whoa. And I, I was looking at it, and yeah, the bunk bed room had a door. But then there was a lot where, like, there was just a bed next to the living room and, like, a lofted bed area with no door. And I'm like, so if you're bringing, like, extended family, if you're bringing a group here, everyone right. better be on good terms because there is not enough walls in this suite. Not, no, <laughs> there's not. And also it, it adds uh, uh, this, it adds a uh, real element of, of thrills when you're in a two-story room with a three-year-old who could at any moment just just plummet right off the top. You, you have to keep <laughs> track of them. All of a sudden now, thank you, Great Wolf Lodge, and now I have to monitor my child. <laughs> Every second that we are in this room, so they do not plummet to their doom. Um, but the, but they yeah the the rooms are massive. It's like themed, like uh, bunk beds where it looks like a jungle or a cave or or what have you. Um, but the rooms can get big enough so you can put your kids way away. You the one blessing is you don't have to think about your kids while they're asleep. You can you can store them for your convenience, <laughs> yeah. like a, like it's like a Victorian orphan in a shelf. Like you just. <laughs> Storm put away. Don't worry about it. There, you can. Seems like there's some rooms where there are characters looking at you while you sleep. That because that's something we haven't talked about yet. Is the yes, array the characters, of yes. original characters who I think they do a good job making it seem like they're something, even though they are <laughs> just at this. Um, well, I don't know if other... I'm comfortable enough to like want to sleep with them like staring and playing an acoustic guitar while I'm <laughs> sleeping uh but the, the, that's the what I'm looking the at family of the wolf the wolf pack as it's known at this uh, at great wolf lodge is it's weird because it's like it's also another thing that relieves the uh the pressure right if my kids see Cinderella at at out you know in in uh Disney World, I know that I'm going to be stopping in a line for 45 minutes. Mm. If my kids see Wiley the Wolf's <laughs> sister Violet, they're like, please, <laughs> I have I have no fucking guilt whatsoever about being like, absolutely not. This IP is utterly contextual. You step out that door, it means nothing. Like, what kid is going to care that you got a picture with a hotel mascot? Like, it's, it's they're, ridiculous. They're, these are stars in a bubble. 
the bubble right, bursts exactly. and they are no longer it's, stars. It's not unlike being a podcaster at their own live show. <laughs> <laughs> We're all Wiley the Wolves. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Yeah, the fame is utterly, utterly exclusive to the to the premises. Um, the Great Wolf Lodge cinematic universe. Micro yes. celebrities. <laughs> I did uh not nothing made me more feel more old than someone's uh, there was a YouTube video called The Evolution of the Great Wolf Lodge Characters. And it started off with the the guy who made it going like, "Well, Great Wolf Lodge, part of all of our childhoods." And I'm like, "What's yeah. it? What? Uh, nope, no. nope. Uh oh, <laughs> this is mid two thousands. That's a, that's uh, that's crazy. No one is a child from. No one was a <laughs> child then." Uh, mm-hmm. Oh no, I messed up your video trying to show no, you uh, uh, Wiley Wiley the Wolf. Um, this is the original. You know what? I'll do, I'll do it. What I'll do is. I'll drop a link to this in the chat so somebody who can can pull this up in a taste. Oh sure, way, yes, Jordan. Can just see it privately. Right. Jordan Katz. This producer. is the original. That is the original actual design of Wiley the, the Cub Wolf Club the when Green. they were in the Cub Club. Wiley. They've done a yeah. They've done like a Chuck E. Cheese on him though, where he used to look cooler, and now he's been like kidified yeah, he, more. Yeah, he used to be a lot more like a wolf. You know, a cool wolf. Yeah, he <laughs> had cool edge. He had a real Does edge. Does cool mean? dead-eyed and weird is that your definition of cool mike yeah uh, in this instance it is <laughs> uh they have these uh there's a channel uh, there where they just play this storybook uh about the founding of great wolf lodge and it's about like wiley and these two brothers tooth and nail that are like beavers. oh here we go oh, oh my god yeah. wait what is this weird yeah clip art that that's the original Wiley the Wolf from the Great Wolf Lodge website. Like the first time that people were exposed to this guy, this is what they saw: this nightmarish new ground clip art. <laughs> pervert. Yeah, this Pepe. This is uh, this is unsettling. He's he's waiting to be claimed by the right wing. <laughs> but they're walking around, and it's like, no, I mean, kids love them in the sense that like they, the kids that love costume characters will be into it. But it's not like. They're not characters outside of the of the resort, and there's plenty of like merchandise and and everything celebrating these these great characters. But uh, there are so many characters on this Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. There's he, Wiley's got a rich, a rich. Anybody history. jumping out at you, Mike? That no one cares about. Oh yeah, Princess Pumpkinkins. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she was a lady in the leaves. Uh, a lady in the leaves. The heir in Cloudcrest. What? What? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lady in the Leaves is uh, a Magic Quest character, right? That you that you interact with to get like your uh, your. Um, they have a quest. lot of Magi or Magic Quest characters in this Wikipedia, like Baraxus or Sherlock the Red Dragon. Oh, Sherlock is fun. That's an actual like. There's a big screen TV with that's showing this dragon, and you have to go in. And fight him with your with your wand by casting increasingly. I did spells. learn. I did um, learn that how to beat uh, the red dragon. Mm. I did not oh, wa- really? watch the okay, video to watch how to beat the silver dragon. Um, um, real quick, oh. let me show Sherlock, you this. You got to use the ice yeah. arrows. I think <laughs> Scott, you're going to be very interested in this, uh, and I don't know how this is going to make you feel. I don't know if you've seen this already. Mm. Hold on, let me just make sure I pull Let's this see. up. So, um, um. It is a bear named Sprinkles. Oh, yeah. I think I've Scott? caught this. Yes. Seen... Um, okay. th- this is this a bear. Is a little familiar. <sighs> uh, yeah, I think actually our, I think. Our, someone in our Facebook group noted this because just in context, I'm really into the bear who only lives in the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory uh, chain of candy stores. <laughs> His name is Truffles, yeah. and he's very uh, obese and sad. And I, my wife and I always feel like comforting him. And I, yeah, there's sort of a Truffles-esque sprinkles, you said? Yeah, sprinkles. Mm. Uh, sprinkles is, uh, he's too happy. Look, problem is, I don't want to cheer him yeah. up. He's fine. He doesn't need a hug. <laughs> He got a huge PPP loan. Sprinkles is set. Like, Sprinkles never stopped working, but he got a little cushion just in case, you know? Yeah. So, but he is, I wonder what came first. I wonder if they ripped off. um, Oh, I guarantee um, Truffles came first. That that chain's been uh, part of our culture since maybe the 80s. I don't know. (laughs) Our heritage. Our heritage. (laughs) Yeah. Cultural heritage. Uh, So... The, uh, the 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 
it's just the, the experience, the way it really sets itself apart from from Disney and and other like parks like this. Not that there's a lot of hotels that have water parks right in them. Um, uh, they are it, the displeasure that they cause adults. The, the the there is no way to spend your way out of it. Like the one thing you know about me is that I do have some money because I got this room. Can I please give I an adult give you some money to make this pleasant for me in any way? And they like they look down at you and they say, No, we know you would give us money to make this better. We're not going to allow you to do that. It would sully whatever this bizarre social experiment that we're running is. You cannot pay to improve this experience at all. You can't pay to like you, if it was Disney, you would be paying to like exclusive genie parking spaces that you don't have to haul your bags through a half mile of hallway <laughs> to get to your room. They they would, you know, they would charge you for like, you know, we'll put food and drinks in your, no, you can't do any of that. You are making your, there's fam, it is very regular to see families walking through the halls with coolers because they're just that unwilling to participate in the, uh, the Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, Justin, racket. because you mentioned hostile amenities, I, I have to, I have to mention <laughs> A thing I noticed in, in one of the video walk, people have put up tours of, of the various lodges. And in the one video I, I saw by like um, the parking lot, by like a, a side door into the parking lot, there were all these carts. And I was like, what? that cart looks very familiar. What is that? And I realized it's the cart you pay five bucks for at the airport to throw your luggage on. If you like have a full mm -hmm. family's worth of luggage and you have to push it out to a rental car. And I'm like, at mm -hmm. least at Disney, they have standard bellhop carts and they have bag services. People that will like take care of this for like you're like, OK, at least I don't have to do th this is much more clearly set up of like, all right, take that uh, cart to your car, load up your luggage, and yeah, walk the half mile through hallways and side doors up to your room. Little, little wizards trying <laughs> yeah. to get their... There don't, will be quests getting in your way. <laughs> don't <laughs> right. don't nail that, the little wizard that. with your away luggage sliding off <laughs> the cart. <laughs> Guys, when you, go to the, <laughs> when you go to the water park, the first thing you have to do is go have your uh, wristband scanned. What you use wristbands everywhere. So, oh, did I mention you're spending the entire time with this plastic wristband that they like affix to your wrist that you cannot remove at all because it's what you use to get to the water parks. So it has mm. to say there's you sleep in it. You have to you, sleep like, you in it. You cannot remove this thing. Yeah, because you can't you can't take it off because they don't want you handing your thing so somebody else can go to the water park in your stead, yeah. right? When you get to the water park, you have to scan your uh, badge and they or, or your your band, and they ask you how many towels you want, and you tell them the number of towels. You check out the towels for ex for a period of time, and if you don't return your wet sopping towels to them, like before you leave, they charge you for stealing their these yeah. incredible <laughs> towels. And let me tell you guys, <laughs> luxury, you got it. There, yeah, there we go. The high thread count on these beautiful towels. You're gonna want to take some home. So they had to curtail the theft of these these <laughs> horrific glorified washcloths. <laughs> but P.S. The best. You can't take the towels out of the water park, but your room is not in the water park. So you, they have committed you to sloshing through the hallways, <laughs> shirtless and embarrassed, as so you like with your teeth chattering. You can't even bring your towel back to your room with you. You had to return it there. Well, children to, run to around with capes. Itself. They have extra clothes. They have more clothes than you yeah, usually right. have, and you have less. Right. Yeah, I feel like everyone. I feel like this is a humid vacation. This is a clammy. Like mm. as soon as you it walk is, into the vacate the the building, you're clammy. You know. Yeah, it is a very yeah, it is a sweaty environment. It's it's sort of the, it seems like a big idea of this chain is this is a place where you can go have active water park fun even when the weather is is very yes. bad. That's a lot of why they've put them right. in a lot of the places. Because what are some of the it's like there's there's the Poconos we were talking about. Yeah, that get that gets right. stormy. I would imagine. So I I was gonna bring up the Poconos because my family used to go to a resort called the Mountain Laurel Resort and the Poconos, and even in the early '90s they were ramping up their indoor pool 
like complex. This was like a, a resort that was still doing pretty well at the time, had a lot of activities, had like more restaurants than this, better restaurants than this where where mom and dad could go. You you the whole family could eat dinner and then one or two nights during your trip, mom and dad would go alone and they would leave the kids with like uh, uh, daycare activities kind of things. Um, but uh, I looked up that resort a couple of years ago and I was like, wow, it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed anything since the 90. Uh oh, uh, I looked it up this morning. It seems to be doing well. It seems to be get more towards modern amenities okay. but um yeah i think this was a big thing catching on in the poconos of year-round indoor water parks for people mm -hmm. who don't want to go skiing or like just just families who just want to get away and maybe you'll hike for 30 minutes one day and the rest of the time you'll be at the water park which is very uh, humid and uh, you have to you get used to the chlorine smell or at least you better uh, but you're for sure going to get a headache one day <laughs> <laughs> they uh yeah there's no daycare options at great wolf lodge uh and which seems weird until you remember that you might experience some pleasure if you left your children with somebody else for a little while uh so they can't have that they can't have you enjoy uh not not attending to your children because that might bring you joy as a parent and and they are very much in the business of not allowing that to happen at at any oh, point oh so wait so this is, is a question for you Justin that you were because you were alluding to yeah. Uh, th even though you would gladly throw money at them to give you something that you want, there's no way to, to do that. Uh, uh, it, you know, in terms of plussing it up, something we talk about on the show, uh, what would you, like, if, if you could hand over 50, 100 more dollars to make something happen there, what do you, what do you want? What's the great wolf <laughs> parent plus up that, uh, would make the thing better? It would have to be, it would have to be a different resort. <laughs> like it would have to be a different adjacent resort. <laughs> so contemptible is everything from the aesthetics to the offerings at great wolf lodge to me, the discerning adult, it would have to be like <laughs> cigarette Joe's Island getaway. And it's like next door, <laughs> you have to pay a thousand dollars. <laughs> and you can leave your kids at the door there like was a goat check. There was a tunnel in your room to a different resort that the parents right. could go through, a secret After passage. After the kids are asleep, right. <laughs> you can slide down like a the water slide and blank mm -hmm. check. You just slide down and you go to the adult, <laughs> park, adult park underneath. All the parents in a tunnel, come with me. I, I know of a place. Come on. Just, no I can out. provide you passage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's no atheists in foxholes, uh, but everyone's a smoker at the Great Wall Watch. You're just like, I don't usually crave cigarettes, but I would love to go outside alone and smoke a pack right now. I'm going to have the first cigarette of my <laughs> life here at yeah. Greenwell, outside Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, the, there is a, uh, I, will, I will mention, and I guess this is a concession to adults in, in some sense, because the pool in, in the water park, there is Grizzly Rob's Bar, which is a, um, it says, the description on the website is, feeling the need for some cool refreshment? Grizzly Rob's is the place to quench your thirst with soft drinks, island-inspired cocktails, and an extensive beer list. Stop by for an invigorating break at noon after a day of 84-degree water park play or any time the spirit moves you. <laughs> Spirits being the operative, <laughs> Yeah. And you will never see parents more broken down than uh, parents at 11 o'clock a.m. like lined up for margaritas at Grizzly Rob's bar. Like, yeah, yeah, I know they're mostly ice. I just need to feel something. Please, please, Grizzly Rob, set me up. Have you have you had a drink at Grizzly Rob's? I I don't have time for the lines at Grizzly Rob's. Mm. So I, what I will do is uh, get a, uh, uh, a there is at Buckets. You can get a frozen pina colada, mm. and that is the one offering they have there as, in terms of like alcohol. Um, there may be beer. I'm not. I'm not a big beer it, guy. But it uh, seems like that, the, you have to come in with a, a plan, and, and, and the plan might help you or or not do anything for you depending on where the Great Wolf Lodge is, because um, like. It seems like that Ohio one, you maybe could go find a, a Target or something, like if you wanted to sneak your little bottles in or whatever, uh, or like the Anaheim one, you know, is close enough to, like, there's stores very close. But if it's a dis if it's a resort, like truly in the middle of nowhere, then you got nothing, right? You you really, there's really, you or you got to, like, plan for that and 
come in with your adult if you amenities. Plan ahead, you can like there's a fridge in the room, right? You can like bring your own stuff and plan ahead. If you don't though, the it's I'm gonna sound like I'm overstating it, but like the parking lot, I don't know how they make it so far from your room, but the farthest <laughs> distance that there is on earth is the distance from your room at Great Wolf Lodge back to your car. And also, if you move your car, pretty good chance you're going to have even worse parking <laughs> oh when God, you come back. Punished. Because someone will slip in there, no <laughs> questions asked. They'll slide right in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, yeah, it is It is a real crapshoot to, to leave to go anywhere. There is, like, um, some convenience stores uh, across the way. Um, the... The Duncan I mentioned, right, which it doesn't sound that wild, right? There's Dunkins everywhere, but it's the only coffee that you can get in the resort. Whoa. So imagine, if you will, 830 in the morning at the Duncan in a Great Wolf Lodge. I mean, lines out the door. I mean, like beyond because everyone wants coffee and this is the place where they will give you a cup of coffee. So everyone at the hotel, every adult that drinks coffee has to wait in line for for their coffee and the line is unfathomable to a point where I have gone to my car, driven to the adjacent Duncan a half mile <laughs> away to go through the drive through and get my dishwater hash browns <laughs> from a, from a, uh, an outside vendor uh, rather than wait in the lines there at the Great Wolf Lodge. Oh Lodge. my God. Yikes. Wow. Yikes. Um, these are, boy, this, this is bizarre. This is all so I, fun to talk about. Oh yes, Mike. I have oh. I have checked. You cannot mobile order. <laughs> no, Duncan. You absolutely cannot mobile order the Duncan. <laughs> that convenient. That's convenient. Convenient. Special no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not Great Wolf Lodge. You wait in the line. You're waiting. <laughs> that, that you might enjoy skipping the line. Do you love your out. family or not? <laughs> <laughs> Prove We're it. to be together. Uh, can I just read some copy that's that that just jumped out at me from the Great Wolf website? Oh, you know it. I, I the big thing, and this is this is recurring in a lot of their spots and stuff. You know, uh, arrive as a family, leave as a pack at Great Wolf Lodge. So that that's kind of on a lot of their stuff, but that it's the next couple sentences that stuck with me. Experience a world of play all under one roof. Go with the flow in our water park resort, or Find adventurous dry play throughout the lodge. How do we feel about dry play? <laughs> dry adventurous. <laughs> adventurous dry, dry, dry play. play. Dry play. None of Jason's gold bond involved. No, there's no towels. There, first oh, off, wait, wait, that would be dry play. No talc. That would be yeah, because it's powder. Because Jason was talking adventurous about dry play dry. is with if it's the talc, but the lotions are for. It, it, it feels like just a bunch of lorem ipsum to like fill in because like it doesn't we don't care if you want to come or not adult we just put some garbage in here your kids are gonna make you go we don't yeah. have to sell how do you, you. do well, how do you like, do fellow humans are you excited for right. leisure I, I, is man an adult like yeah we're an adult like you here at Great Wolf Lodge we have the Iron Horse Fitness Center <laughs> you can uh, exercise your commitment to health and well being in our fitness room. We offer a perfect selection of cardio and weight training equipment, flat screen TVs and towel service, so you can stay on top of your game or begin anew. Imagine <laughs> you're going to start a new commitment to fin fitness at Great Wolf Lodge. <laughs> this is my moment. I'm going to start now. Well, I want to get attractive to enough to leave my terrible family for a new family. We'll maybe come here to Great If I can Wolf get Lodge. in shape enough to have an affair... <laughs> <laughs> I might experience something. Fly away from this place. Physical pleasure. <laughs> then maybe what? Maybe Wiley's sister Viola will look at me. <laughs> the Iron Horse Fitness Center is next to the Glow in the Dark Gulf, and I've never seen a single human being in it as long as I've lived. <laughs> I've never seen one. Well, Justin, there. there's a reason for that because the entirety of Great Wolf Lodge is a treadmill. You're running and running, and you're not getting away. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Dad, take your wand. Go up the <laughs> stairs. The next quest is on floor six. <laughs> the next quest is back on the bottom floor. All right, back up to eight. Please. 
Well, you raise you do raise yeah. a good point, Justin. This this might be a terrific place to have an affair because I don't think anyone's going to be looking for you. <laughs> private eye, like they're not letting anyone in with a private eye, like a long telephoto lens. Like, oh no, pal, no, you're not coming in here. You're, an affair, you're talking about an affair that's deep enough along that it would be on the old show Cheaters, <laughs> where like a, right. a private investigator. Is yeah, a, a sleazy <laughs> James Elroy style private investigator. Yeah, I'll tracking find your you. Man. I'll find your man. I will. I'm I'm sorry, Miss Wilson. I had real good tabs on him, and then I lost him in a crowd of one thousand unhappy adults that look like just facing utter mortal panic. Every single one of them looked exactly uh, the same. He seemed he to get like a Duncan picture line. on the. <laughs> slides a picture on the desk, and the the fair is actually like obscured by a thousand little wands that are <laughs> in the top. The kids holding the wand, <laughs> like you can see, they're making out here behind all these wands. I can't see that. No, I really. <laughs> I think some children conspired well, to use magic against me to d defeat my I private did. eye skills. I did my best. Uh, could I real quick my my uh, talk about the found the founders? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I'm very excited. I am excited. I, I did not go to the Great Wolf Lodge when I the couple times I went to the Wisconsin Dells as a, as a youth, but I definitely went to their other creation, which was Noah's Ark Water Park. Noah's Ark. Yeah, oh. you've brought this up before. I, I, it feels familiar to me, but I don't I don't recall much about it. Yeah, Noah's Ark is not. I mean, it's obviously somewhat religious, <laughs> like hmm. if that's what it's yeah. called. But that's like the top. That's like the the water park in Wisconsin oh, okay. Dells that you go to, and it's got the biggest slides and everything. And I don't I don't know it's if the it's biggest still one in America, right? It's massive. Wow. I think so. Yeah. It, it it um it was definitely like all the that was like what you would do if you were a kid. Like if you didn't go there, you were you may as well not have come back because it was <laughs> the cool one. And my mom, we I begged to go there because my mom was very afraid of me going to a water park. Oh, this is the place where you were denied. Uh, you've you've told this one that you were you were shut well, down from like kids' birthday parties. I was denied. No, I did go here, but I was denied. Uh, um, she wouldn't let us go with like just kids and other kids' families that she didn't trust, even they were friends mm -hmm. of mine. So we would like lie and say why I didn't go. She'd be like, oh, we have to go. You know, it's, I think, here's one of my favorites. It would be like, it's our anniversary, and the kids and I are, all, and uh, Jeff are all doing something. Oh. <laughs> so we would, this would be the regular birth, like, because it would always be the same birthday water park, and it would always be the same line. But wait, but then you would, it wasn't your anniversary, and you would not do anything? We would never, we would barely do anything. Yeah. We, <gasps> Surely we you couldn't be. have gone to Bennigan's another night. Maybe we went to Bennigan's. It's possible. Yeah. We went to Chili's or something. There's, um, you know, I, but... I talk about these five timers, these stories that we tell. This one, I think you need to tell at least once a year just to remind everyone where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> this is important context. <laughs> these, I, you know what? To be a hooky here, I'll, let me give let me give my mom some credit. Uh, this was the family that would invite us that also called her once and said, uh, also, I want to let you know. Uh, we have a gun in the house, and the boys know where it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> as much as my mother was a little overprotective, I guess I have to give her this yeah. one. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Right. Hold on a second. Did you get to see it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did not. Uh, also, I did not go over to that house <laughs> yeah. for many right. years. That's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, That's fair. Although I did see the one brother shoot the other brother at two feet close range with a BB gun. Once. Whoa! Mm. Oh my god! In the back, <laughs> because they were fighting. Okay, well, they one one of the sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> one of the brothers was on the roof with the BB gun, shooting at his brother when we like rolled up there, and then the other brother just as like a as like a kind of a psych out was like, "Fine, come down here." Took his shirt off, got down like this. Shoot me in the back, and I'll show the scar to mom. <laughs> God. And then he did it. It happened. We watched it happen. Shoot me in the back. <laughs> Imagine that feeling for 24 hours, and that's Great Wolf Lodge as an adult. I mean, it's basically like getting shot in the back with a BB gun by your brother for 24 hours. No, and you, that you asked for it. You paid yeah. for it. And yeah, you fact. wanted it. You went there. Your kids mm -hmm. doesn't have a credit card. They yep. can't get there without you. You're gonna There's nothing to be scared of here. <laughs> you said it so many times. I feel like there's a lot to be scared of here. Yeah, that's where the song starts and then it keeps getting me? said. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> 
uh, 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 Jack and Andrew Waterman are are the two gentlemen. The, wa- the famous water park founders, the, the Watermans. Watermans. <laughs> it's so yes. weird. And then they, yeah, they they Noah's Ark was first, and then they they created Great Wolf Lodge in like ninety seven. So it's so recent. Yeah, it's, it's for something that has so many locations. It's really bizarre how yeah. quickly it's 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 taken off. But Noah's Ark has some some magic to it. Like you could see why another business would be appealing. From from the Watermans. Oh, I loved I loved yeah Noah's Ark, it was awesome. It was like they uh, I was scared of a lot. I was scared of a lot of the slides, believe it or not. But <laughs> like it had enough thing uh, enough things for a kid to get very excited yeah, about, yeah. and it was mm. just massive. How so much? Yeah, yeah. How much Noah? <laughs> See, there, there's a there's not really much religious stuff, and I got to dig back in, and maybe there was in the old days. Yeah. But it seems like they've. It's. It seems like they're. Uh, it's a very secular telling of Noah's Ark, <laughs> if that's even part of it, because it's not. There's no like religious theme slides. Didn't, anymore didn't realize Noah did hang loose so much. You know. <laughs> yeah. This might. Yeah. This isn't. Yeah. I, I would imagine that there was a little more religious. Uh, um, tie a little more of a religious tie-in early on, but how, how, we'll have to. Do how that is it eventually. water park wise? Just judging it as a, a water park, Justin. I hate water oh. parks. Hmm. I hate water park. It's really hard for me to judge because I, I will say, it's a little better being in an indoor environment where you don't have the sun beating down on you while you're standing in line for a ride. Um, that that I appreciate. I, I, uh, but like for example, I've been to Disney. I, I don't know how many times never been to like Blizzard Beach or, mm. or or any of those. I have zero interest in in water parks. Every time we go to Great Wolf Lodge, I live in this tiny bit of hope that my kids would be like, I don't really feel like doing the water park this time, Dad. Let's just do anything else for the entirety of our stay. <laughs> um, I mean, the rides are are uh, my kids won't do any of the the fun slides, so it's pretty much just. Uh, standing in the wave pool trying to keep them from drowning. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the the bulk of it. Uh, that seems stressful. The, yeah, and it's very stressful. Even the lazy river is just them trying to fall out of the inner tube and get swept away by the current. <laughs> so that's not much, not much fun. Well, either. it feels like you're just a lifeguard. Well, look, yeah, they they've got, got yeah, they definitely have lifeguards, and I know about the lifeguard system because, and I can't believe this. This might be the first topic we've ever done on the show. That has been uh, uh, the topic of an episode of Undercover Boss. There was a early on in the show, uh, the then CEO Kim Schaefer uh, went undercover and worked at a lot of the the restaurants. Uh, worked at the front desk, which really gave you like the tenor of who comes there. <laughs> like, so people so upset at the front desk. I told you I wanted a high room. Okay, we only have floor three. Is that okay? Well, it's gonna have to be. Like oh jeez, <laughs> you're on te- you're willingly on television, <laughs> acting like this. But then, but one of the things she does is she works with the lifeguards, and a couple interesting things happen here. You get to see the training, uh, and you know that the lifeguards are trained and have to stay on their toes at all times because on just a regular day, not even in the the, the pre work training, they might have to uh, pass something called the Timmy test, and the Timmy test is when. <laughs> unannounced a different lifeguard throws a very realistic dummy uh with a big like gaping open mouth ah like it looks like an already deceased child i mean a cpr (laughs) dummy but like with a little more going on so that it has like limbs akimbo um timmy might get tossed into the wave pool and you have 15 seconds to notice timmy and rescue timmy and get him out of the water, which is a and, and the test that I saw that was on the show was considered successful at 13 seconds, which is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, that guy's on it, but what a stressful thing for the lifeguards that Timmy might show up and for the guests. <laughs> you might just have what you think is a like it, it looks like a, a almost dead ET <laughs> flopping around <laughs> in, the, in the water with you. That's <laughs> the Timmy test is the watch a child drown simulator. Like, <laughs> I mean, guys. I, I mean, I will grant you that that's a wild practice, but like, 
I would like to keep the lifeguards with their head on a swivel for drowning kids. I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> I definitely do want them to have an eye out. Yeah, for them. yeah. I mean, I'm sorry that it has to. How often? I mean, they don't get false alarms, right? They're gonna get dull every once in a while. You got to give them a little. Zzz, there's kids around. <laughs> <laughs> just, Stay on. Yeah, not a job a you bit. can gonna... uh, stop paying attention to at, at any second. So that is, that, <laughs> right, yes, exactly. while bizarre, probably a good thing that they do. Um, I also learned a little bit of the lingo, something that you get to see in this episode. We recently uh, were discussed, oh, because of Mission Space. Uh, obviously, Mission Space, you end up with uh, a lot of vomit and the euphemism we were discussing, protein spills. Um, there is a different euphemism <laughs> at Great Wolf Lodge, and that is AFR. We got an AFR, and the AFR stands for Accidental Fecal Release. <laughs> <laughs> oh what great I don't know what Clinical happened term. I just ate I, I, I don't know what happened I ate the world's worst pizza and milkshakes for 24 hours straight and I got diarrhea come on if you don't want me to poop in the pool, you got to serve a vegetable in here somewhere, guys. Yeah, no Tell telling if the ex if the AFR was from a child or from a uh, a man in his forties. I got Very it. well could have been. <laughs> I'll tell you how was work today, honey. Ugh, awful. We had a Timmy test in the morning and then an, an AFR right after. I think my boss is out to get me. And I was so scared by the Timmy test. I, I am <laughs> hard. <laughs> hey, if I was me, I should have led with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. With our new fleet of ultra realistic Timmies, Timmy can serve not just for the Timmy test, but we can uh, squirt AFRs out of him. <laughs> As your red skin falling around the way. <laughs> no, you have Timmy to grab AFR. Timmy with one hand and grab the AFR with the other. <laughs> That is the experience of being a parent at Great Wolf Lodge. I mean, they have replicated it almost exactly. If you can get at least 85% of the AFR in your hand on the first grab, then you are up to par as far as the life got the chunks. Guard. We can't expect him to get the liquid. <laughs> yeah. He's only, this kid, his lifeguard's only 17. What's he going to do? The the end of this, yeah. this episode of Undercover Boss, she's just holding like a lightly singed Timmy doll and she's just covered in shit. And she's like, I just, I'm, everyone's getting a, a $3 raise. Everyone's getting a $3 an hour raise immediately. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to get hired at Lockheed Martin. Literally anything out, please. God, Somehow less crimes against humanity at Lockheed Martin. <laughs> Something where there was there is no fun involved. Not any capacity for fun. Right. <laughs> um, well, here one more thing, you know, and we we could we could start writing it down a little. But the uh, the crimes against humanity. I think it's time to transition oh, into the crimes against humanity section. Justin, do you know anything about where your money is going when you go to Great Wolf Lodge? Okay, now guys, here's the truth of this, and I was so afraid that you. Yeah, I'm that. sorry. I, we have. I've to. worked. I've worked. So, no, no, no. I because I don't know, and I've worked so. You don't have to be in that place 30 seconds before you realize, like, I would not like where this is headed. Like, if I start climbing up this ladder, I am not going to enjoy where it is. So, no, I have not looked into it. Uh, oh. Maybe that. Maybe I've had my last trip to Great Wolf Lodge after this. Uh, episode, but I've remained listening. Well, here, let me let me build up before I get to w the real source of it. I I started looking up some stuff. Just uh, this is the section of my notes, just titled shadiness. Um, <laughs> Th th this isn't about the the owner as much as I this um the Garden Grove location the only one that I've been to that I walked around a little it ju it did just feel so odd to me and so barren and then it's we like it's kind of in it's where Harbor Boulevard it's south of Disneyland and it's where it starts to get a little barren and residential like you're finally out of it that it's that every hotel chain uh has a location and there's a Fleming Steakhouse and a Morton's and all that like it's starting to get into just like regular kind of um, low income OC and a lot of weird stuff. Garden Grove paid for the whole, a lot of the garden, the city of Garden Grove trying to attract people away from Anaheim footed the bill for like $20 million to have the site prepared. Uh, so they're throwing so much money at it. They had to, uh, Great Wolf Lodge had to pay $1.9 million to settle the cost of relocating 30 low income families living in a trailer park on the property. So they evicted a trailer park. 
in order to get mm. Great Wolf Lodge built, uh, not counting the legal fees for getting them out. And then still, it's not like Garden Grove was super excited. Like corporate Garden Grove was excited, but the neighbors were like, I don't know if I want a six-story water funnel in my backyard. And you know who won this fight because, Jordan, if we could pull up the photo I have. Look at the view that you have if you live. (laughs) 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 Miserable. We're looking at like a really just like a like a cracked like I mean the street's fine. You'd happily live on the street. It's not like a sad street, but it's made much more bizarre by full water slide, multiple mismatchy colors of water slides exploding out of this building at the end of your block. It looks like Doctor Strange has used his fractal magic to draw together a regular neighborhood <laughs> and a yeah. water park. It just there them. goes the neighborhood. Them adjacent. It's the weird yeah. thing about that location because a lot of these are sort of in nature or in the mountains, but this Anaheim one, it's yeah, it's bizarre that it's just right next to, and that there's just like a, a Walgreens right there. These He's poor. Oh God! Like you, you've survived getting Disney firework ash in your yard for decades, <laughs> but at least you didn't have a water funnel out your kitchen window. The but now the the ownership status of Great Wolf Lodge is its own adventure. Because at one mm-hmm. point in time, there was a a uh, what I read described as a rare public bidding war. Where like companies were going back and forth, where it's like I'll buy the company four dollars a share, no oh, four fifty five, five seventy five. Like they're literally doing like an, an auctioneer uh, getting it, and so they they've had a couple owners, and then a few years ago, sixty five percent of operational control or control a uh, controlling interest, I believe is the phrase I saw, is now sixty five percent by the company Blackstone. So the company that owns a lot of real estate in America, the company that probably owns some of those houses on that street also owns this. (laughs) Pricing out. Yeah, Yeah. they're the big company. When you hear about fucking up the housing market and like, let's buy all the houses and rent them out in full cash so that people can't. Uh, it's by starter houses anymore. They also fund rainforest deforestation in the Amazon. Mm. The CEO mm. donated like fifteen million dollars to Mitch McConnell's super PAC. The CEO was the head of when Trump got elected, and there was like he got like a consortium of CEOs that Bob Iger was briefly on and then left. But there was some like I don't even remember the name of the committee, but like super Trumper. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a incredibly evil organization that, okay, let me list some things that, uh, in addition to Great Wolf Lodge, if you partake in any of this, uh, you're go- putting money into fucking up the housing market and the rainforest, <laughs> uh, all the bush parks, the SeaWorld, Bush Garden, Sesame Place, uh, they own the Willis Tower, the former Sears Tower, they own Motel 6, they own the Cosmopolitan, the Aria, and the Vidara in Vegas. And then you get into the products. Oatly, they own the oat milk. Uh, Ancestry is these people. I'm doing an ancestry of them. <laughs> straight to evil. They own Bumble. They own... <laughs> <laughs> Honey, do you remember the place where we met uh, and that we fell in love, darling Jane? Uh, <laughs> guess, oh, you guess, guys are Bumble. Yeah, oh, we wow, met wow. on Bumble. Yeah, guess what else they own? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's weird. What I can't figure out from all this is why you guys have me on this episode when I've never paid to go to Great Wolf Lodge <laughs> in my entire life. I mean, I'm, 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 <laughs> Holy ignorance <laughs> until this moment. I've been, I, you know, I thought about going, but gosh, with that kind of corporate history, I mean, I, you know, I it's never would have dreamed of They have their, it, but, their hands in so many pockets, like you can't avoid. They fund both the politicians that complain about coastal liberal elites drinking their oat milk, and then they're funding the oat milk. <laughs> <laughs> and and the best one in the list, Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> Blackstone. Uh, I can't. The evil equity firm owns Spanx. There's no way around it. Somebody... This is just how we have to live. Somebody else says, "Hey, podcast the ride has many guests on there. What's that vibe like?" And I have to tell my. 
just fucking do your research before you go in, man. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna Edward Edward R. Murrow you in the wait to oh. the end to do it. <laughs> what hell? It's it's, it's interesting. The... I'm glad you've had such fun. Let's take a look behind no, the curtain. Don't worry it's about the it. podcast equivalent if we dump animal blood on you. With the... <laughs> <laughs> You're complicit. <laughs> we all anytime. And that's what it's like to be a parent at Great Wolf Lodge. You're getting animal dumped on blood on you, and you, you people are shouting, "You're complicit! You're complicit!" And they're not accidental wrong. and animal blood. <laughs> release anytime we try to do it like an, 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 an inoffensive just what seems like a bland topic inevitably you get to the second page of google results and it's like oh no what's this isaac chotner interview in the new yorker oh no who's he got up against a wall <laughs> related to like you know funimals or whatever <laughs> well so uh, I I I'm sorry if you've taken this as as finger pointing. This was not the intent. Yeah. If anything, not, not I hope that slice. it makes you feel better about th- that. Do you feel more justified in what has been frustrating <laughs> about this place? In, in in this part, there is a sense where like this does feel like on top of it, the final indignity. <laughs> where like it doesn't you, the displeasure is permanent. It does not end when you leave the premises. You're carrying it around with you for the en- entirety of your life. I have to respect the hustle <laughs> that they have towards making me feel bad emotions. <laughs> There's a little bit of the Joker like, where do they get those wonderful yeah. toys? Like, oh, you got me again, guys. You got it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's in good their one. defense, yeah. the animated film about the Great Wolf Lodge characters seems kind of cute and nice. <laughs> Nothing about the trailer upset me. So they're trying to like make the characters where you know you you maybe could experience them at sight. So there's the movie The Great Wolf Pack: A Call to Adventure, um, and this seems fine. Now I'm not gonna think about what how it was funded. I just think that <laughs> Wiley. <laughs> and Oliver, Raccoon, and especially Brindley Bear are looking their best, and it looks like a fun adventure. <laughs> I'm sure it will Man, be. I wish the Watermans never sold, you know? That's right. They're, if, yeah, if we can focus on the dream of the Watermans. <laughs> yeah. They just wanted to make a family into a pack. And, right. Um, do you feel like. Not a super, not a super pet. Not a super <laughs> pet. Yeah, that's where a we got pet. lost. We went from pets to super pets. That's right. Make sure. <laughs> Is this a real movie? Like, yeah. and, and, it, will this be out in theaters? Like, it's supposed to be out ten days ago <laughs> as we record. Real? This. <laughs> this is so timely, guys. I'm so impressed wow, with that's you. That's strange. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think. Well, I, I'm not. Sh- I think maybe you can like buy the stream this or something. But what I love is that it becomes a movie that you can watch on Great Wolf Lodge TV. Uh, Reminiscent of my favorite thing, that there was this hour-long Treasure Island movie where you get to see Steve Wynn act, uh, and it only played in Treasure (laughs) Island. It's a nice throwback to that. So the next time you go, the next time that you're sure to happily go with your pack you can is watch there, this movie is there some sort of is there some sort of morality offset that i can do where i have to pay pay my credits <laughs> to a good organization to justify my presence at great what's Wolf the Lock? opposite of i don't know I, yeah i guess like helping low-income housing or uh this is you yes. shouldn't have to uh, do penance um, you t- no. tip two hundred percent at the lodge. <laughs> I guess tip your server. Look, well, uh, no ethical consumption under capitalism. It's the title of go. this episode. That's extra yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any cl- any closing thoughts? Have we have we washed away all your bad, all, all any good memories into? I feel lighter. <laughs> no, I feel lighter. This has been really. This has been good to get off my chest. Uh, uh, all right. Well. Well. Perfect. Uh, boy, what a fun thing to talk about. Uh, crazier than I thought it would be. Justin McElroy from my podcast, The Ride. Uh, let's exit through the gift shop. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Uh, we are going to be. Uh, m- my family and I. We do. Uh, live shows for our podcast. We're going to be in San Jose. Uh, doing the Adventure Zone, uh, which is our role playing podcast, on the 29th. We're going to be there doing My Brother, My Brother, and Me on the 30th at the San Jose Civic. And then October 1st, we're in Denver at the Temple Hoyn Buell Theater uh, doing My Brother, My Brother, and Me. So that'll be very soon, I bet, as you're listening to this. So if you can get tickets at 
McElroy, M C E L R O Y dot family. Uh, fantastic. Nice. And uh, you could probably pair it all up. You go to the Denver show and then you go to the Colorado Springs. Great Wolf Lodge. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. I always encourage people to stay at the Great Wolf Lodge um, in, in, adjacent. It's the perfect experience if you're a childless podcast fan. You're really going to love this. This is really going to be Well, that was an early discovery me with for me with this is that like looking up videos of it, they're they have made no outreach to vlogger to like childless vloggers and stuff. They've made no Don't marketing worry. push. Most theme parks of various sizes have been like, oh, these people do free marketing for us. Give them some tickets. Not the case well, at Great Wolf we can Lodge. Get, Jason, let's see if we can get you down in Anaheim. Oh, that sounds let's like. Let's see if we can get you on a comp hey, room. It's impossible to say for sure, but I've never seen an, an adult there who did not obviously have, like was not either obviously a parent or had a children. A child like present with them. I've never seen like. Hmm. Let's just go to the lodge tonight and enjoy a nice dinner. I, <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. This definitely this feels like maybe the first thing in podcast right history where I'm like I am not welcome. They may as well have those nuclear <laughs> site like this is not a place of honor signs. <laughs> Private posted. eyes. They're gonna be watching you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna... just look. At, listen, if you just look exasperated the entire time, no one will bat an eye. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'll take a wand, please. I'm going to uh, email the PR at Blackstone and ask if we could send our cub <laughs> reporter, Jason Sheridan, to one of the Great Wolf PR Lodges. at Blackstone.com. <laughs> literal, literal cub reporter in this case. He'll That's be part right. of the cub club. He be, by, by staying there, he gives his name and his likeness over to a bear-like creature named Jason the Bear. I'm I'm happy <laughs> to chaperone Scott and his son because You're happy to chaperone me. Sh- chaper- yeah, I, <laughs> chaperone. Yeah, uh, I've never been chaperoned. <laughs> I, I'm happy, uh, as you said, you were on your own. If you ever had to go to this. Place. Oh yeah, yeah. I, t- I told Justin that. I yeah. I had uh, the, the the agreement with my wife already was if I were ever to take my son down here that it is just uh, dad and son. And now I wonder if dad has to get removed from the equation. So too. Uncle Jason, please, yeah, please let me know how that goes. Please go. I don't know any other adults that have been to Great Wolf Lodge. I would really love to hear your thoughts on it because it is a unique a unique I'm location. Still, you know, after uh, all just this, don't pay to get in there. You're gonna have to sneak in. Uncle Jason has <laughs> vitamin B shots. He has to just give Scott one every hour to keep him going. <laughs> just a B twelve. <laughs> Help me, my friend. I'm suffering. Uh, well, yeah, we'll see. I'll report on that. Hey, uh, uh, thanks to Jordan Katz, who produced this episode. Welcome to the show, Jordan. Uh, you can find us on all the socials at Podcast the Ride. Merch is available in our T Public store. And for three bonus episodes every month, check out Podcast the Ride, the second gate, or get one more bonus episode on our new tier, Club Three. You'll find all that at patreon.com slash podcast the ride. Not dark money there's no dark unless you consider it that the money might flow through me eventually to great wolf lodge and then to blackstone but that's a long ways away and not yet so your money this month won't go to blackstone i could promise that (laughs) it's a temporary promise yeah all right uh so long pack forever dog this has been a forever dog production executive produced by mike carlson Jason Sheridan, Scott Gardner, Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Forever Dog Team and liking our page on Facebook. <laughs>